Hello everyone, welcome back to Sherula's Kitchen and today I am going to be showing you how to make perfectly crispy medu vara. So first in a bowl, take 2 cups of urad dal, which is known as skinless black lentils or black gram. Pour water to the dal, wash and rinse urad dal for 3 to 4 times or until water runs clear. Now soak urad dal for 6 hours. After 6 hours of soaking, drain and discard the water. Add the soaked urad dal to a grinder jar. Add minimum water, just 2 to 3 tablespoons, to make a thick consistency better. Just make sure not to make the batter thin. Now the batter is ready. Put in a bowl. Now whip it with a whisk for 2 to 3 minutes. This aerates the batter and give it a light and fluffy texture. A quick way to check the perfect and right consistency of the batter is to drop a small spoon of the batter in a bowl of water. The batter should float on the water and remain intact. If it floats and does not get dissolved, then you have achieved the right consistency. But if it sinks, it means that your batter is not fluffy enough or is too thin. Now add spices and herbs to the batter. First goes chopped green chilies, chopped curry leaves, coriander leaves, salt, rice flour. Rice flour makes the vara crispy, gives the batter thickness, also soaks less oil. Add onion. To make the vara more tasty, you can add crushed kasuri methi and black pepper powder. To make the vara 100% fluffy, you must add baking soda. And to make it crispy, Add 1 tablespoon of hot oil. This hack will definitely make your vara unbelievably crispy. Now let's prepare the vara. First wet your pump and fingers with water. Then take a small portion of the batter. Try to make a round shape. Using your thumb, make a hole in the center. Drop it immediately in the hot oil. If you are not confident enough to make vara using fingers, then use a piece of parchment paper. Also weight it. Put a small portion of the batter and make a hole in the center and it is ready to drop in the hot oil. When you are dropping the vara, make sure the oil is moderately hot. Fry the vara on medium heat. It takes 5-7 to seven minutes to get a nice golden brown texture. So now you can see the vara is cooked through well. Now take out the cute little spicy vara. Serve it with spicy coconut chutney. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this recipe, please hit the like button, share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe.